Recently spoke with the people over at Bravo Concealment and they were cool enough to uh, send me out some holsters to take a look at and uh, provide them some feedback. And this one here is their inside the waistband light bearing holster. And uh, what I'm gonna do is before running any of these uh, holsters or any, especially inside the waistband holsters for concealed carry or everyday carry, I like to uh, dry fire uh, with them first. Dry firing costs zero uh, dollars. You don't have to shoot any uh, ammunition, obviously. Um, so it's always good to run them dry first. Uh, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, that way you can avoid any potential uh, for injury running a new holster. All right, so uh, right off the bat, anytime you're dry firing, uh, make sure that uh, your magazines are free of any live ammunition. You have no live ammunition on your person. And also make sure uh, that you are performing a uh, proper clearing procedures on your firearm, ensuring that uh, there's no ammunition, no magazine in the magwell, uh, no live ammunition in the chamber, uh, clear and safe. So. I'm gonna run some reps from the holster uh, from Concealed uh, just to get a good feel for this Bravo concealment inside the waistband holster. And then I'm gonna pick it up to some other uh, uh, dry fire exercises as well. The targets I'm gonna be using are uh, from Bear Solutions. These are free. Uh, you can go to their website, turn them out. Um, they're pretty cool and they have a lot of different options out there. So you can see a lot of hip six, uh, some no shoots and uh, some circles in the middle that are uh, basically a plate rack. So uh, the different sizes of the uh, targets are kind of simulate, uh, simulating distance. So typically dry firing, you're in your house uh, or something like that where you don't have a whole lot of space to move around. So the different size targets are, are going to help kind of create that space uh, for you. So I'm um, in my garage, I, you know, pretty decent amount of space, uh, not the amount you're used to at the range, but there's still a lot you can do and you're spending zero dollars and using zero live ammunition to uh, get this little bit of practice in. So this is going to save you a lot of time and money at the range uh, by running some dry fire practice at home. All right, so just a quick look, the way I'm running this setup is I have my Bravo concealment holster over here at Penix, a spare magazine. Um, there as well. And I'm just gonna be running uh, some shots out of the holster just to kind of get a feel for this before I start moving around and doing some other stuff. I'm going to uh, get into some exercises uh, that's going to require me to uh, transition uh, to multiple targets and have multiple trigger presses. So the issue you're going to run into is when you pull the trigger on your pistol, uh, you're going to have that one trigger pull. Uh, it's going to release the firing pin and then basically you're going to have a dead trigger. It's not going to do anything. It's going to stay to the rear. Um, so what I like to do is kind of disable the pistol's ability to release the firing pin and that's gonna allow you to have some sort of trigger to pull. You're not gonna have your reset, uh, but you're still gonna have a trigger that you can practice pulling straight to the rear. Uh, so what I have here is just a piece of 550 cord. I got a knot in it, uh, but basically what this is gonna do is once I put it in the pistol, it's gonna cause the slide to be out of battery and it's gonna uh, deactivate the pistol's ability to release the firing pin. So all you're gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna take the longer uh, piece of that 550 cord and I'm gonna put it so that the knot is in the chamber and there should be a little bit of uh, cord sticking out the barrel and just kind of slowly release it. Now you wanna make sure that 550 cord is coming out the side of the ejection port. Uh, that way it's not gonna block your sights when you go to use them. All right, I didn't come up with this. I saw this somewhere on the internet. I wish I knew where, but I do not recall. Uh, now, uh, this is also a, an additional safety feature. If you have a piece of 550 cord sticking out of your barrel and your ejection port, there is no way you could have a live round in there. Um, so uh, it's a good uh, option. And then when you go to pull that trigger, again, it's gonna 
bounce back and forth for you. So you have something uh, to pull on, uh, which is better than just uh, one pull and then a dead trigger, you know, and you're just basically using your imagination at that point. Uh, so I'm going to run through some exercises, uh, again, using the uh, Bayer Solutions uh, targets that are free on their website. You can print them out and set them up different sizes. I got a few cones on the ground just to kind of uh, move to some different spots. Uh, when it comes to doing reloads, if you uh, are worried about your mags getting messed up, you can go ahead and put a piece of cardboard or carpet down on the ground um, to save your mags. Otherwise, not a big deal uh, from pistol height. Uh, shouldn't really damage him too much. So that about sums it up. Um, spent about an hour in the garage just kind of messing around with the dry fire stuff there with the uh, new inside the waistband holster. And there's a lot you can do with dry fire practice. Uh, you can work that trigger, work that reset on the trigger, uh, reloads, draws from the holster, uh, movement, target transitions, things like that. Um, doesn't cost any ammunition to do it, but it is limited. There's obviously no recoil and that plays a big part uh, in uh, your shooting and uh, the ability to control and manage that recoil. So make sure you're uh, using your dry fire training in combination with your live fire training at the range. If your ammunition uh, is tight, I'd uh, recommend you check out my 48 round recalibration video that uh, goes over a good exercise that only takes 48 rounds to do and you get a lot of uh, those good fundamentals in uh, that exercise as well. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out uh, the people over at Bravo Concealment Holsters, Rob Solo 10. We'll get you 10% off of their holsters. The link is going to be in my bio for that. Feel free to throw some comments down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. So thanks again for watching.